You, O Lord, are close, and all of your ways are truth. From of old I have spoken of your decrees, for you are eternal. Holy Mass this morning is offered for the intentions of David Leslie. Today is also a commemoration of Our Lady of Loretto, reminding us of the Holy House of Nazareth, which brings us once again in this Advent time to a closer appreciation and contemplation of the Holy Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. O God, who willed that at the message of an angel your word should take flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant that we who pray to you and believe her to be truly the Mother of God may be helped by her interceding before you. We make these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I, the Lord your God, I am holding you by the right hand. I tell you, do not be afraid, I will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, poor worm, Israel, puny might. I will help you. It is the Lord who speaks. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. See, I turn you into a threshing sled, new with double teeth. You shall thresh and crush the mountains and turn the hills to chaff. You shall winnow them, and the wind will blow them away, the gale will scatter them. But you yourself will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and the needy ask for water, and there is none. Their tongue is parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not abandon them. I will make rivers well up on barren heights and fountains in the midst of valleys, turn the wilderness into a lake and dry ground into water spring. In the wilderness I will put cedar trees, acacias, myrtles, olives, in the desert, I will plant juniper, plane tree, and cypress side by side, so that men may see and know, may all observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Lord, 
All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to us, Lord, with your peace, that we may rejoice in your presence with sincerity of heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds, I tell you solemnly, of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist has never been seen. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. Since John the Baptist came up to the present time, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and the violent are taking it by storm. Because it was towards John that all the prophecies of the prophets and of the law were leading. And he, if you will believe me, is the Elijah who was to return. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages, 
and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for when you, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Saviour, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan he gave himself up to death, and by rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life, and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world. 
Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, the whole, all the clergy, all who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await to the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Let us live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Spiritual Communion I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you with the spirit and fervour of the saints.
the body of Christ.
let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit as we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Joseph, Holy Guardian Angel.